What's up you guys? This is Ryle here with Learn With Me. And uh, here's just a quick little lesson, lesson, video, whatever you want to call it, where we can just kind of talk about, you know, repurse, re repurposing your dirt at the end of the season. Um, so uh, let's get to it. So again, uh, when I was talking about like repurposing soil, I'm talking about stuff like this, like some of the stuff in that pot or that pot, like these are just mainly weeds and stuff like that. And so I wanna get like a second use out of it. And since you guys have been keeping up with my compost pile, uh, one of the second uses that I'm like essentially indicating that I'm gonna do for it is taking out the soil from these and throwing it into my compost kind of you know revitalize it and ensure that when I have I'm trying to make better sifted potting soil in the future that I have some stuff to go by instead of me just having to just rely on having too many greens or too many browns into my compost so let's uh let's go take a look at that okay right here is one example of this where it's just like I have some sticks and this is like a was it, was it like a former fruit bush that never really quite took to being an actual plant and so i'm going to take it over here to my compost bin i gonna try to remove just like small stuff like this too but yeah went ahead and removed the stick from there and now i'm just turning this upside down into my compost this is fairly easy. You guys can do this too. Now you have some repurposed soil to add and mix in with your compost. Afterwards, instead of you having to worry about buying buckets, you can kind of just put this in wherever you're gonna put, you know, your leftover buckets that didn't really, plants that weren't perennials and stuff that you're done with with the season. You can kind of put that there and then next thing you know, you just gonna go on through the garden and find the other things that you wanna repurpose. Going back to this one over here, I would say if you're gonna do anything, try to go ahead and pull out some of these plants that are over here. That way, when you're adding it to, you don't have to really worry about any like root development or anything. Oh look, looks like an old carrot. Or anything, just any weeds getting into your compost. But that's just another tip that I would add as you're trying to you know, prepare your soil or uh, different things, you know, take out the plastics, take out all the stuff they might've carried over in there over the course of the season, you know? Cause we're really just preparing to like, you know, revitalize the soil and renew it so that we have better soil to use next year. Because that's one thing that I've noticed is that that is one of the things I can improve upon when it comes to my crops for next year. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but when I yanked this one out, I just realized, I looked it up on my plant identifier app and realized that it was a mulberry. And ironically enough, I've been trying to grow mulberries for a while. So hopefully that's what this is. And if anything, we're gonna keep it in the pot for right now and just see what we can do with this. <laughs> of course, when I'm trying to pull up weeds, I actually pull up a valuable plant that I just have neglected. All right, you guys, here's another, another example of what I'm talking about. Like, this is the pot where I kind of took out as many weeds as I wanted to. I mean, if you're turning your compost often enough, then you the weeds won't really be too much of a problem. I mean, as long as you're not growing any or adding any bamboo or anything in there. Like I said, as long as you're turning it consistently, you should be all right. And now you start adding, you start mixing up the soil along with like the other compost. And that's how you kind of revitalize it. Like this smoke, like branches and stuff that were in there. Let's see, there was something in here along these lines, yeah. Take out any trash or anything that's broken. But yeah, you guys, this is essentially it. And the old leaves, all types of stuff in here just to like I said, revitalize it in, you know, makes your garden look a lot cleaner and it kind of gets you on top of it. And it's like, even if you don't do too much in the garden, 
like this will at least help you at least get like somewhat started and you know what if it helps out then you can do you know where to like go from next year and if you make like youtube videos like me then when you're searching it on like what you did last year you can be like okay so that's what i did to get this type of crop this year or this is what like led to me having a better crop or like a worse crop in a certain regard so let me know if you guys have any more tips do you have any other suggestions but you guys continue to have an awesome day but yeah you guys uh that's uh just kind of me just repurposing some soil um not much of a video but just kind of felt like you guys should be included on this another step in my process if you guys want to see other things that i do just feel free to let me know um but otherwise like subscribe and uh you guys keep being awesome see you next time stay breezy